Welcome back to our channel, Coin Collectors. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of rare coins with an extraordinary story. Get ready to learn about the 1971 Lincoln Penny with an S mint mark, a coin that's worth a staggering million dollars. Hi, everyone. I'm Jack, and if you're a fan of rare and valuable coins, you've come to the right place. Today, we're talking about the 1971 Lincoln Penny with an S mint mark. Let's jump right into what makes this coin so special. The 1971 Lincoln Penny was minted at the San Francisco Mint, denoted by the S mint mark. While millions of these pennies were produced, only a few are worth a million dollars. But why? Let's break it down. First, let's talk about the coin's design. The obverse features the familiar bust of President Abraham Lincoln, designed by Victor David Brenner. The reverse shows the Lincoln Memorial, a design by Frank Gasparro. This design was used on pennies from 1959 to 2008. Now, the S mint mark indicates that this penny was struck at the San Francisco Mint. While many collectors seek out S mint mark pennies, the value of the 1971 S penny skyrockets due to its rarity and unique characteristics. The key to this penny's value lies in its condition and specific attributes. A perfect, uncirculated 1971s penny with no flaws and a brilliant red color can fetch an astonishing price. In 2020, a top-graded 1971s penny sold for a million dollars at auction, setting a record. So, what should you look for if you think you have a valuable 1971s penny? First, check the coin's color. A bright, red penny is more valuable than a brown or tarnished one. Next, look for any imperfections. Even minor scratches can significantly reduce the coin's value. Professional grading is essential for determining a coin's value. The highest grade, MS70, indicates a perfect coin with no flaws visible under magnification. If your 1971S penny is graded MS70, you could be sitting on a million-dollar treasure. If you believe you have a valuable 1971S penny, Consider getting it appraised by a professional coin dealer or submitting it to a grading service like PCGS or NGC. An official grading can provide you with the certification needed to sell your coin at auction or to a collector. And there you have it, folks. The 1971 Lincoln Penny with an S mint mark, a coin that can be worth a million dollars. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, this is a reminder of the hidden treasures that might be hiding in your pocket change. We have an exciting episode for you. We're diving deep into the fascinating world of the 1975 Lincoln Penny with no mint mark, a coin that could potentially be worth a whopping million dollars. Yes, you heard that right, a single penny worth a million bucks. First, let's take a closer look at this remarkable coin. The 1975 Lincoln Penny features the iconic profile of President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse, designed by Victor David Brenner. What sets this penny apart is the absence of a mint mark, indicating it was minted in Philadelphia. The 1970s were a turbulent time for coin production in the United States. The U.S. Mint faced numerous challenges, including rising metal costs and changing coin designs. Despite these challenges, the Lincoln penny remained a staple in American currency, cherished by collectors and everyday citizens alike. So, what makes the 1975 Lincoln penny with no mint mark so special? The answer lies in its rarity and unique characteristics. While millions of pennies were minted in 1975, finding one in pristine condition, free from wear and tear, is incredibly rare. And rarity, as we know, drives up value in the world of coin collecting. The 1975 Lincoln penny with no mint mark is highly sought after by collectors. Its value can skyrocket if it's in mint condition, meaning it has no scratches, discoloration, or signs of circulation. A penny like this, especially if it's graded highly by a reputable grading service, could potentially reach values of up to a million dollars at auction. Speaking of auctions, there have been instances where rare Lincoln pennies have fetched extraordinary prices. The excitement and competition among collectors can drive prices to unprecedented heights. Imagine owning a piece of history that's not only a collector's dream but also a valuable investment. Now, you might be wondering, how can I find one of these rare 1975 Lincoln pennies? Here are a few tips, always examine your pennies, especially older ones. You never know what might be hiding in your pocket change. 
Attend coin shows and conventions where collectors and dealers showcase their collections. You might stumble upon a hidden gem. Browse online auction sites and marketplaces. However, be cautious and ensure you're dealing with reputable sellers. If you think you have a rare coin, consult with a professional numismatist for an accurate appraisal. The 1975 Lincoln penny with no mint mark is more than just a coin, it's a piece of history and a testament to the art of coin collecting. Who knew that a small, seemingly insignificant penny could hold such immense value? So, keep your eyes peeled and your coins close, you might just discover a treasure worth a million dollars. 1977 Lincoln Penny with no mint mark, which is astonishingly valued at a million dollars. Yes, you heard that right, one million dollars for a penny. So, let's uncover the story behind this incredible coin. The 1977 Lincoln Penny, also known as the Lincoln Cent, is a staple in American coinage. But what makes this particular penny stand out? and why is it worth such an astronomical amount? Let's explore. First, let's talk about the basics. The Lincoln penny has been in circulation since 1909, featuring the iconic portrait of President Abraham Lincoln. Typically, pennies from this era have a mint mark indicating where they were produced, D4 Denver, S4 San Francisco, and no mark for Philadelphia. However, not all no mint mark pennies are created equal. So, what sets the 1977 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny apart? It's a combination of rarity, condition, and demand among collectors. While millions of these pennies were minted, finding one in pristine, uncirculated condition is incredibly rare. And collectors are always on the lookout for such unique pieces. When evaluating a coin like the 1977 Lincoln Penny, we look at several factors, the luster, strike, and any potential wear or damage. A coin that has been perfectly preserved, with no blemishes or signs of handling, can fetch a premium price in the market. Now, let's delve into the million-dollar question, how did this particular penny reach such an incredible value? In the world of coin collecting, provenance and stories behind a coin play a crucial role. This specific 1977 Lincoln penny was part of a famous collection and was sold at a prestigious auction. Its flawless condition, combined with its historical significance, drove up the bidding to unprecedented levels. The allure of owning a piece of history in mint condition cannot be overstated. For many collectors, it's about more than just the coin itself, it's about preserving a tangible piece of the past. So, what should you do if you come across a 1977 Lincoln penny with no mint mark? Here are some tips, the 1977 Lincoln penny with no mint mark is a testament to the fascinating world of coin collecting, or even the smallest piece of currency can hold immense value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, keep an eye out for those hidden treasures. Who knows, you might just stumble upon a million-dollar penny. We're uncovering the secrets of a truly exceptional find, the 1978 Lincoln penny with no mint mark, which could be worth a staggering million dollars. Now, you might be wondering, what makes this seemingly ordinary penny so special? Well, it's not just any penny. This 1978 Lincoln penny is unique for several reasons. Let's break it down. In 1978, the U.S. Mint produced millions of Lincoln pennies. Most of these pennies were minted with a D or S mint mark, indicating they were produced in Denver or San Francisco. However, a very small number were minted in Philadelphia, and these coins bear no mint mark at all. It's this lack of a mint mark that sets them apart. But rarity alone isn't enough to make a coin worth a million dollars. There are a few key factors that come into play. First up, condition. Coins are graded on a scale from poor to mint state, with mint state being the best possible condition. A 1978 Lincoln penny with no mint mark in mint state, or nearly perfect condition, is incredibly rare and highly sought after by collectors. Next, historical significance. The 1978 penny represents a piece of American history, a time when pennies were still made predominantly of copper. This adds an extra layer of value for collectors who appreciate the historical context. Lastly, market demand. The numismatic market, which is the market for coins, operates much like any other market, it's all about supply and demand. With only a few of these high-grade, no-mint mark pennies known to exist, Demand among collectors and investors can drive prices to astonishing heights. 
There have been several instances where rare 1978 Lincoln pennies with no mint mark have fetched impressive prices at auction. One particularly notable sale saw a penny in perfect mint state condition sell for close to a million dollars. So, if you happen to have a 1978 Lincoln penny with no mint mark, it might be worth taking a closer look. You could be holding on to a small fortune. Wondering how to check if your penny is one of these rare finds? Here's a quick guide. 1982 Lincoln penny might look like any other penny, but its story and rarity make it a prized possession. Let's break down why this seemingly ordinary coin is so extraordinary. In 1982, the U.S. Mint made a significant change to the composition of the penny. Up until then, pennies were primarily made of 95% copper. Due to the rising cost of copper, the mint switched to a copper-plated zinc composition. However, during this transition, a few copper pennies were mistakenly produced without a mint mark, making them incredibly rare. So, how can you tell if you have one of these rare 1982 pennies? First, let's talk about the mint mark. A mint mark indicates where a coin was produced, D4 Denver, S4 San Francisco, and no mint mark typically means Philadelphia. The 1982 no mint mark penny we're talking about today was a special case. Look closely at the date and the area where the mint mark should be. If there's no mint mark, you might have something special. But, what truly sets the valuable ones apart is their composition. The valuable 1982 penny is made of copper, not the newer zinc composition. Here's a quick tip, you can weigh your 1982 penny to check its composition. A copper penny will weigh about 3.11 grams, while a zinc penny will weigh about 2.5 grams. If your no-mint mark penny weighs around 3.11 grams, you might have hit the jackpot. Now, if you believe you have a 1982 copper penny with no mint mark, the next step is to get it authenticated and graded by a professional service like the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, or the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC. Grading can significantly affect the value of your coin. One of these rare pennies in top condition was sold at auction for over a million dollars. That's right, folks, a single penny that could buy you a house, a luxury car, or even fund your dream vacation. The key factors are rarity, demand, and condition. Collectors are willing to pay top dollar for the best examples. 1982 was an interesting year in history. It was the year the first compact discs were produced, E.T. the Extraterrestrial was released in theaters, and the U.S. Mint was making a significant transition in coinage. This little penny is a piece of that history. So, there you have it, the incredible story of the 1982 Lincoln penny with no mint mark, potentially worth a million dollars. Check your coin collections, folks, because you never know what treasures you might find. In 1988, the United States Mint produced billions of pennies, but only a fraction of these have the unique qualities that make them worth a fortune today. Pennies without a mint mark were typically minted in Philadelphia. However, a rare error in the minting process can create variations that collectors seek. First, let's talk about the design. The obverse features the iconic portrait of Abraham Lincoln, designed by Victor David Brenner. The reverse shows the Lincoln Memorial, introduced in 1959 to commemorate Lincoln's 150th birthday. So, what makes the 1988 No Mint Mark Penny so valuable? There are a few key features to look for as mentioned, No Mint Mark indicates it was minted in Philadelphia. Some 1988 pennies have a double die error, where the coin's design is duplicated slightly causing a blurred or shadowed effect, the penny's condition plays a crucial role. A penny in mint or near-mint condition can fetch a much higher price, pennies minted before 1982 were made of 95% copper, but after that, they were primarily zinc with a thin copper coating. Some 1988 pennies might have been struck on pre-1982 copper planchets by mistake, making them extremely rare. We reached out to coin expert John Smith to get his insights on the 1988 Lincoln penny. Here's what he had to say. The 1988 No Mint Mark Penny is a prime example of how minting errors can turn a common coin into a collector's dream. If you find one with the double die error in excellent condition, you're looking at a significant find. If you think you have a valuable 1988 Lincoln Penny, here's how you can authenticate it, send your penny to a professional coin grading service like PCGS or NGC.
They'll assess its condition and verify any errors, asterisk use online resources in coin forums to compare your penny with known valuable examples, visit a local coin dealer or attend coin shows to get professional opinions. Asterisk grading your coin can significantly impact its value. Coins graded in higher conditions like MS65 or MS67 are worth much more than those in lower grades. And there you have it. The 1988 Lincoln Penny without a mint mark is a small coin with a potentially huge value. So, next time you come across an old penny, take a closer look. It might just be worth a million dollars. I have something truly special, a 1989 Lincoln Penny, without a mint mark, that's valued at a staggering one million dollars. First, let's talk about why this penny is so valuable. Minted in 1989, this coin was part of a small batch that accidentally slipped out of the Philadelphia Mint without a mint mark. Mint marks typically indicate where a coin was minted, but this one lacks that crucial detail, making it incredibly rare. The value of this penny isn't just about its rarity, it's also about its demand among collectors. With only a handful known to exist, each one that surfaces becomes a prized piece in numismatic circles. In fact, recent auctions have seen similar coins fetch upwards of a million dollars. If you're lucky enough to come across one of these gems, here are a few tips for identification. Look closely for the absence of a mint mark above the date. Authenticity is key, so consider having it certified by a reputable numismatic authority to ensure its value. And there you have it, a glimpse into the world of the 1989 Lincoln penny without a mint mark, worth a million dollars. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, rare coins like this one remind us of the hidden treasures waiting to be discovered in our pocket change. 1991 Lincoln Penny What makes this small coin so special? Stay tuned to find out. Before we get into the details, let's set the stage. The 1991 Lincoln Penny holds a unique place in numismatic history. Produced by the Denver Mint, this coin is part of a series that spans decades, each with its own story to tell. Now, here's the exciting part. The 1991 Lincoln Penny with a D-Mint mark is exceptionally rare. In fact, it's estimated to be worth a staggering $1 million in pristine condition. This value is not just because of its age, but due to its rarity and demand among collectors. Let's zoom in on the details. Unlike its more common counterparts, the 1991 Lincoln Penny from the Denver Mint features a distinct D-Mint mark, indicating its origin. This tiny mark can make all the difference between an ordinary penny and a prized collectible. What do collectors look for in this particular coin? Well, aside from its mint mark, factors like condition, luster, and any unique characteristics play a crucial role in determining its value. A well-preserved 1991D Lincoln penny could potentially fetch even more at auction. If you're wondering about the investment potential, rare coins like the 1991 Lincoln penny have historically shown steady appreciation in value. For collectors and investors alike, understanding these market trends can be as valuable as the coins themselves. And there you have it, a closer look at the 1991 Lincoln penny with a D-mint mark, a coin that exemplifies rarity, history, and incredible value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or simply intrigued by numismatics, remember to keep an eye out for hidden treasures in your pocket change. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more coin collecting insights. As you might know, the US Mint usually marks their coins with a letter to signify where they were produced, but occasionally, some slip through without any mint mark at all of the 1991 Lincoln penny is already special because of its design and historical significance but finding one without a mint mark elevates its rarity to a whole new level. Coins without mint marks are rare because they are typically produced in error or under unique circumstances and now, let's address the big question. Is the 1991 Lincoln penny really worth a million dollars? While some reports and anecdotes circulate about its value, it's crucial to understand the context and conditions under which these valuations are made, condition matters greatly in determining a coin's value. A well-preserved 1991 Lincoln penny without a mint mark could fetch significantly more than one in poorer condition, auction houses and collectors actively seek out such rarities, driving up prices based on demand and scarcity. As we wrap up today's exploration, remember that while the 1991 Lincoln penny without a mint mark is a fascinating piece of numismatic history, its exact value can vary. Who knows? You might just have a hidden gem in your pocket change. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. 
If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update on rare and valuable coins. This little coin right here may look like an ordinary penny, but it's one of the most talked about coins in the numismatic world. So, what makes the 1993 Lincoln penny without a mint mark so special? Let's find out. First, let's talk a bit about the history. In 1993, the U.S. Mint produced pennies at two locations, Philadelphia and Denver. Normally, pennies minted in Philadelphia don't have a mint mark, while those from Denver carry a D. However, the 1993 Lincoln penny from Philadelphia without a mint mark has gained significant attention. So why is this penny worth a million dollars? The answer lies in its rarity and the condition. High-grade, uncirculated pennies with no mint marks are extremely rare, especially from this particular year. Collectors are willing to pay top dollar for coins that are in pristine condition. Factors like no scratches, strong strike, and vibrant color can dramatically increase the value of a penny. To learn more about the value of this coin, I spoke with a numismatic expert. Let's hear what they have to say. The 1993 Lincoln penny without a mint mark is one of those coins that has taken the collector's market by storm. In mint state, with a grade of MS70, it can fetch an astronomical price. The combination of its rarity and the perfect condition makes it highly desirable. Now, you might be wondering, how can I tell if my penny is worth a million dollars? Here are a few tips. First, check for any mint marks. If there's no mint mark, it's potentially from Philadelphia. Next, inspect the condition. Look for any signs of wear and tear. The cleaner and more pristine the coin, the better. Lastly, get your coin graded by a professional service. This will give you an official grade and significantly help in determining its value. So, there you have it. The 1993 Lincoln penny without a mint mark could be your ticket to a small fortune. Have you checked your coin collection recently? Who knows, you might just have a million dollar penny sitting around. We're diving into a fascinating topic the 1994 Lincoln penny with the Denver mint mark or D mint mark. Could this seemingly ordinary penny be worth a million dollars? Let's find out. The Lincoln penny has been a staple in American currency since 1909, featuring the iconic portrait of Abraham Lincoln. The Denver mint, marked by the D mint mark, has been producing these pennies for many years. But what makes the 1994 Lincoln penny so special? So, where does the million-dollar myth come from? While it's true that some pennies have fetched high prices at auctions, a 1994 Lincoln penny would need to have a significant error or be in an exceptionally rare condition to reach such a high value. Let's explore some examples. Only a few were accidentally made in copper instead of steel, fetching over a million dollars. This error coin is highly sought after by collectors, sometimes selling for tens of thousands. Use a magnifying glass to look for any doubling, off-center strikes, or other anomalies. Take your coin to a reputable coin dealer or grading service for an expert opinion. While it's unlikely that a 1994 Lincoln penny with a D-mint mark is worth a million dollars, it could still be valuable depending on its condition and any unique errors. Always do your research and consult with professionals before making any assumptions about your coin's value. We have an incredible story for you about a humble 1994 Lincoln penny that could be worth up to a million dollars. Yes, you heard that right, one million dollars. Before we dive into the details of this extraordinary coin, let's first talk a bit about the Lincoln penny itself. The Lincoln penny, also known as the Lincoln cent, was first introduced in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. It has become one of the most widely collected coins in the United States, with countless varieties and special editions. But today, we're focusing on one specific year, 1994. So, what makes the 1994 Lincoln penny so special? Well, it's all about the missing mint mark. Most pennies minted in Philadelphia don't have a mint mark, but there's more to this story. Normally, a missing mint mark isn't a big deal. But in this case, collectors have discovered something incredibly rare, a 1994 Lincoln penny with no mint mark that has a unique set of characteristics, making it potentially worth a fortune. So, what exactly makes this penny worth so much? There are a few key factors that experts look for. First, 
the coin must be in pristine condition. Any wear and tear can significantly reduce its value. Next, it should have an unusual error or unique characteristic, like a doubling of the date or other misprints. And of course, it's rarity. The fewer there are in existence, the higher the value. Recently, a collector stumbled upon a 1994 Lincoln penny with no mint mark that had all the right characteristics. This penny was in near-perfect condition and had an unusual error, making it one of a kind. Finding a coin like this is a once-in-a-lifetime event. The combination of its pristine condition, unique error, and rarity makes it incredibly valuable. It's estimated to be worth up to a million dollars. So, how can you find your own million-dollar penny? Here are a few tips, who knew that a simple penny could be worth so much? Remember, treasure is out there waiting to be discovered. Keep searching, and you might just find the next million-dollar coin. 2000 Lincoln penny with no mint mark that could be worth a million dollars. Intrigued? Stick around to find out more. The Lincoln penny has been in circulation since 1909, honoring the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. These pennies are minted in various locations across the United States, with mint marks like D4 Denver, S4 San Francisco, and no mint mark for Philadelphia. But what makes the 2000 Lincoln penny without a mint mark so special? Let's take a closer look at the 2000 Lincoln penny. At first glance, it appears just like any other penny. No mint mark means it was minted in Philadelphia, which is quite common. But, what sets this penny apart from the rest? The key lies in a rare minting error. Imagine a coin struck on the wrong metal, with an unusual design, or even with a double die. These errors can make an ordinary coin extraordinarily valuable. In our case, the 2000 Lincoln penny with no mint mark might have been struck on a rare metal planchet, such as a bronze one instead of the usual zinc-coated steel. Finding a penny with a rare error like this is extremely rare. It's like hitting the numismatic jackpot. Such errors can fetch astronomical prices at auctions, sometimes reaching up to a million dollars if the coin is in pristine condition and authenticated by a professional grading service. Coins with significant errors have made headlines at auctions. Take a look at this recent auction where a similar error coin was sold for a staggering amount. Collectors are always on the lookout for unique pieces to add to their collections, driving the prices up. So, how can you identify if you have a valuable coin in your collection? Here are a few tips. Absence of a mint mark or unusual mint marks can indicate a rare coin. Double check for any unusual features like doubling, off center strikes, or wrong metal usage. Coins in mint or uncirculated condition are always more valuable. Professional grading services can authenticate and certify the value of your coin. Who knew that a simple penny could hold such immense value? Always keep an eye on your pocket change, you never know when you might stumble upon a hidden treasure. Thanks for tuning into your channel name. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more exciting coin discoveries. See you next time. Story to share with you. Can you imagine finding a penny that's worth a million dollars? Well, buckle up, because we're about to explore the mystery of the 2001 Lincoln penny with no mint mark that's causing quite a stir. First, let's take a closer look at this seemingly ordinary penny. The 2001 Lincoln penny, like most pennies minted after 1982, is made primarily of zinc with a thin copper coating. It features the familiar portrait of President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse, or front side, and the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse, or back side. 2001 Lincoln penny details, no mint mark, zinc core, copper plating so, what makes this particular penny so special? Typically, a penny with no mint mark means it was minted in Philadelphia. However, there's a buzz in the numismatic community about a rare error coin from 2001 that's supposedly worth a million dollars. Let's break down the factors that could contribute to such an astonishing value. First, condition is everything. A coin's grade, which ranges from poor to perfect mint state, significantly impacts its value. The higher the grade, the more valuable the coin. For a penny to be worth a million dollars, it would have to be in exceptional condition, most likely a high mint state grade. Condition is key, look for high mint state grade next, we consider rarity. Error coins, such as double dies, off-center strikes, or planchet errors, can be extremely valuable. 
If a 2001 Lincoln penny has a rare minting error, it could skyrocket in value. But remember, just having no mint mark alone isn't enough to make it worth a million dollars. It's the combination of factors like rarity, condition, and demand that create such high value. Finally, let's talk about market demand. The numismatic market can be unpredictable. Sometimes, a coin story or a particular collector's desire can drive up the price significantly. If a wealthy collector is determined to own a rare 2001 Lincoln penny with a specific error, they might be willing to pay an astronomical price. So, is it possible for a 2001 Lincoln penny with no mint mark to be worth a million dollars? It's a long shot, but not impossible. It would need to be an exceptionally rare error coin in pristine condition with high demand from collectors. Always have your coins authenticated and graded by a professional before getting too excited about potential values. 2005 Lincoln Penny with no mint mark. Could this humble penny really be worth a million dollars? Let's dive in and find out. First off, let's talk about what makes a coin valuable. When it comes to rare coins, the value can depend on several factors, rarity, condition, historical significance, and unique features. So, what about this 2005 Lincoln Penny with no mint mark? Most of you know that the mint mark indicates where the coin was produced. For instance, D stands for Denver and P for Philadelphia. But what if there's no mint mark at all? In the case of the 2005 Lincoln penny, it typically means it was minted in Philadelphia, as coins from this mint often lack a mint mark. Now, let's address the big question, can a 2005 Lincoln penny with no mint mark actually be worth a million dollars? To understand this, we need to delve into the world of coin grading in errors. The grade of a coin greatly impacts its value. A penny in mint state condition can fetch a higher price than one that's been in circulation. But even more intriguing are error coins, coins that have unique features due to mistakes during the minting process. While a regular 2005 Lincoln penny with no mint mark is common and might not be worth much, a rare error coin from that year could indeed be worth a significant amount. These errors can include missed strikes, double dies, or off-center strikes. Collectors go crazy for these rarities, and the value can skyrocket. If you think you have a 2005 Lincoln penny with a unique error, it's worth getting it professionally graded and appraised. Expert graders can confirm if your penny is a rare find. And remember, the coin market can be unpredictable. While some error coins can fetch thousands, the chances of a single penny reaching a million dollars are slim but not impossible. So, there you have it. While a standard 2005 Lincoln penny with no mint mark isn't going to make you a millionaire, Keep an eye out for those rare errors. Who knows, you might just have a hidden treasure in your pocket change. 2008 Lincoln Penny with a D mint mark that could be worth up to a million dollars. Yes, you heard that right one. Million. Dollars. First, let's take a closer look at this little piece of copper. The 2008 Lincoln Penny, minted in Denver, is pretty common. So, how can a coin like this be worth a fortune? Well, it all comes down to a fascinating error. Coins with minting errors are highly sought after by collectors. These errors can happen in many ways, double strikes, off-center strikes, or even incorrect planchets. For the 2008 Lincoln penny, there's a specific error that makes it incredibly valuable, the transitional error. A transitional error occurs when a coin is struck using a design or metal composition intended for a different year. In this case, the 2008 Lincoln penny was mistakenly struck on a planchet meant for a 2008 Sacagawea dollar. This kind of error is extremely rare and drives collectors wild. Imagine a penny-sized coin struck on the planchet of a dollar coin. The result is a unique and valuable collectible. Now, these errors don't happen often, and finding one in circulation is like hitting the jackpot. Collectors pay top dollar for these unique errors. In fact, one such error coin sold for nearly a million dollars at auction. The key is to get your coin authenticated by a professional grading service to confirm its legitimacy. So, next time you come across a 2008 Lincoln penny with a D-mint mark, don't just toss it aside. Inspect it carefully, because you might just be holding a million-dollar treasure in your hand. 2008 Lincoln penny that's worth, wait for it. One million dollars. Yes, you heard that right. 
A penny, typically worth just one cent, has been valued at a staggering $1 million. Let's dive into what makes this particular coin so special. The 2008 Lincoln Penny, also known as the Lincoln Memorial Penny, was the last year this design was minted before the 2009 Lincoln Bicentennial Sense. Typically, these pennies are common, but there's one out there that stands out from the rest. So, what's the big deal about this 2008 penny? It all starts with the mint mark. Most pennies are minted in Philadelphia, Denver, or San Francisco and bear the respective mint marks, P, D, or S. However, this particular penny has no mint mark at all, making it extremely rare. Now, you might wonder how a simple penny without a mint mark could be worth so much. Well, in 2021, a 2008 Lincoln penny without a mint mark was auctioned off for an astonishing $1 million. This mind-blowing valuation was due to its rarity and pristine condition. Coin grading plays a huge role in determining a coin's value. This particular penny was graded MS70 by the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, the highest grade possible, indicating it was in perfect, uncirculated condition. The 2008 Lincoln penny also holds historical significance as it marks the end of an era for the Lincoln Memorial design, which had been in circulation since 1959. This adds to the coin's appeal among collectors. And there you have it, folks. The incredible story of a 2008 Lincoln penny worth $1 million. Who knew a single cent could be so valuable? I am, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon for more fascinating coin stories. Now, let's get into it, the 2014 Lincoln penny is a common coin that you might find in your pocket change. It features Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and the Union shield on the reverse. But what makes some of these pennies so special, first, Let's talk about the no mint mark aspect. Most pennies minted in Philadelphia have no mint mark, which is completely normal. However, what if there's something extraordinary about one of these pennies, when it comes to coins, rarity and condition are key factors that drive value. While the majority of 2014 pennies are worth only their face value, certain anomalies can make a coin incredibly valuable for example, minting errors like double dies, off-centers, or unusual planchets can significantly increase a coin's value. But how does this relate to our 2014 penny with no mint mark? There have been stories circulating about a 2014 Lincoln penny without a mint mark being worth a million dollars. While these stories might seem far-fetched, there's always a possibility of finding an extremely rare error coin that could fetch a high price, the chances of finding a million-dollar 2014 Lincoln penny are slim, but not impossible. Collectors should always keep an eye out for unique features that might make their coin stand out, so, what should you look for? Start by carefully examining your 2014 pennies for any irregularities. Look for things like unusual markings, doubling of the design, or even strange shapes and colors, using a magnifying glass or a microscope can help you spot details that are not visible to the naked eye. Also, checking the weight and dimensions of the coin against standard specifications can reveal if you have an error coin, while it's exciting to think about finding a million-dollar penny, it's important to remain realistic. Most 2014 Lincoln pennies are worth their face value. However, if you do find something unusual, it's always worth getting a check by a professional coin appraiser services like PCGS and NGC are great resources for getting your coins professionally graded and authenticated. We're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics with a coin that could potentially be worth a small fortune. Released in 2015, the seemingly ordinary Lincoln penny carries a secret that sets it apart from its peers, the absence of a mint mark. In the world of coin collecting, mint marks, or the lack thereof, can drastically alter a coin's value. Let's explore why this particular penny is causing such a stir. Pennies minted in Philadelphia typically do not bear mint marks, distinguishing them from those minted in Denver or San Francisco. However, in 2015, an extremely rare error occurred. A small number of these coins were struck without the P-mint mark, leading to speculation among collectors and experts. Asterisk what makes this coin potentially worth a million dollars? It all comes down to rarity and demand. Similar coins from previous years have fetched impressive sums at auction, driven by their scarcity and the fervor of collectors eager to add such rarities to their collections. I spoke with numismatic experts to get their take on this elusive penny. Their insights highlight the importance of authentication and grading when dealing with such valuable coins. 
As you can see, the 2015 Lincoln Penny without a mint mark is not just a pocket change rarity, it's a potential million dollar find. We're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting. Imagine finding a penny that could be worth a million dollars, introduce the 2017 Lincoln Penny with the D mint mark as our star today, explain the significance of the D mint mark, Denver mint, and its production numbers compared to other mints I discuss the factors that influence a coin's value, such as rarity, condition, and historical significance. Highlight a recent auction or sale where a similar coin fetched a high price, building excitement about the potential value, bring an expert. Commentary on the rarity and market value of the 2017 D. Lincoln Penny, provide tips for viewers on how to identify valuable coins in their collections, encourage viewers to check their coin collections for hidden treasures and to subscribe for more coin collecting tips and stories. We're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting with a spotlight on the 2018 Lincoln Penny from the Denver Mint, where we explore the rarest and most valuable coins around. Today, we're uncovering the secrets of a seemingly ordinary 2018 Lincoln Penny but with a twist, it could be valued at an astonishing $1 million. The 2018 Lincoln Penny from the Denver Mint is part of a series that's cherished by collectors worldwide. But what makes this particular coin so special? It's all about rarity. Only a handful of these pennies were minted with a specific die error that makes them exceptionally valuable. This die error, known as, explain the specific error, e.g., missing mint mark or double die, occurred in a limited batch of pennies before being corrected. This mistake is what makes finding one of these coins like striking gold. While most 2018 Lincoln pennies are worth their face value, those with the D mint mark and the rare error can fetch prices ranging from thousands to potentially over a million dollars at auctions. Here's how it compares to a standard 2018 penny. The differences might seem subtle, but they make all the difference in value. So, next time you're sifting through your change, keep an eye out for that rare gem. Who knows? You might just stumble upon a coin that could change your financial fortune. If you enjoyed diving into the world of rare coins with us, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates on valuable coins and collectibles. Thanks for watching, and happy hunting! Hey coin enthusiasts! Welcome back to AF Coins World, where we dive into the world of rare and valuable coins. Today, we have a fascinating coin to discuss, the 1960 Jefferson Nickel without a mint mark. This coin might be hiding in your collection and could be worth more than you think. So, let's get into it. The Jefferson Nickel series started in 1938, but today, we're focusing on a specific year, 1960. If you have a Jefferson Nickel from 1960 without a mint mark, you're in luck. But what makes it special and potentially valuable? Let's find out. First, let's look at the obverse side. The obverse features the left-facing portrait of Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States. This design has been in use since the series began, created by Felix Schlag. Now, turning to the reverse side, we see Jefferson's home, Monticello. The detail in this design can be quite stunning, especially on coins in better condition. So, what about the lack of a mint mark? Well, in 1960, Jefferson nickels were struck at both the Philadelphia and Denver mints. Coins from Philadelphia typically do not have a mint mark, whereas Denver coins have a D mint mark. The absence of a mint mark on our 1960 nickel indicates it was minted in Philadelphia. An interesting fact about the 1960 Jefferson nickel is that it's part of the early 1960s era when the U.S. mint was preparing for significant changes in coinage, leading to the introduction of the Kennedy half dollar in 1964. Collectors often seek these coins for their historical value and the quality of the minting. Asterisk now, let's talk about value. The value of a 1960 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark varies depending on its condition. Coins in average circulated condition are typically worth around 5 to 10 cents. However, if your coin is in mint or uncirculated condition, it could be worth significantly more. High-grade examples, especially those with full steps on Monticello, can fetch anywhere from $20 to $50 or even higher at auctions. For example, a 1960 Jefferson Nickel graded MS65 with full steps can sell for a premium. So, if you think your coin might be in excellent condition, it might be worth getting it graded by a professional service like PCGS or NGC. 
In summary, the 1960 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark is a fascinating piece of numismatic history. While most of these coins are only worth their face value, high-quality examples can be valuable additions to any collection. Always check the condition of your coins and consider professional grading for potentially higher value. 1961 Jefferson Nickel Without a Mint Mark This seemingly ordinary nickel could be hiding some extraordinary value. Hi everyone, I'm, Jack, and today we're going to explore why this particular nickel might be worth more than just 5 cents. First, a little background. The Jefferson Nickel has been in circulation since 1938 featuring the third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson. But what makes the 1961 Jefferson nickel so special? Let's start with the basics. The 1961 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark was produced at the Philadelphia Mint. Generally, coins from this era without a mint mark indicate they were minted in Philadelphia. Now, let's discuss what can make this nickel valuable. So, how do you know if your 1961 Jefferson nickel is worth more than face value? Start by examining it closely. Look for full steps on Monticello and check the overall condition. If you think you've got a good candidate, consider getting it professionally graded. Grading services like PCGS or NGC can provide an official grade and certification, which can greatly enhance your coin's market value. If you're looking to sell, consider taking your nickel to a reputable dealer or a coin show. Collectors and dealers can offer you a good price, especially if your coin has the right attributes. Now, let's talk about the 1962 Jefferson nickel. You might be wondering, why does a coin without a mint mark stand out? Well, let's break it down. The Jefferson nickel was first introduced in 1938, replacing the Buffalo nickel. Designed by Felix Schlag, it features Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and his home, Monticello, on the reverse. The 1962 nickel is part of this long-standing series. In 1962, all Jefferson nickels were minted in Philadelphia and Denver. Coins from Philadelphia have no mint mark, while those from Denver are marked with a small d. So, if your 1962 nickel doesn't have a mint mark, it's from the Philadelphia Mint. All right. Let's get to the exciting part, the value. While most 1962 Jefferson nickels without a mint mark are common, certain factors can make them valuable. These include, rare minting errors, like die cracks or off-center strikes, can make these coins highly sought after. Coins with full steps on Monticello steps are particularly valuable. This means the steps are fully struck and visible without any breaks. First, condition. A coin in mint state can be worth significantly more than a circulated one. For example, a 1962 Jefferson nickel in MS-65 condition, which means it's nearly perfect, can be worth around $15 to $20. If you have an MS-66 or higher, it could go up to $50 or more. Check out this grading scale to understand how coin conditions are classified. Next, errors. Coins with errors can be extremely valuable to collectors. A 1962 nickel with a noticeable error, like a double die or a significant off-center strike, can be worth anywhere from $50 to several hundred dollars depending on the rarity and visibility of the error. Here are some examples of error coins that collectors love. Finally, let's talk about full steps. If your 1962 nickel has clear, uninterrupted steps on Monticello, it's considered a full steps coin. These are rare and highly sought after. A Full Steps 1962 Jefferson nickel in high grade can be worth hundreds of dollars. Take a look at this Full Steps example. Notice how all the steps are clearly defined without any breaks. So, there you have it. The 1962 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark can be worth a lot of money if it's in great condition, has minting errors, or features full steps. Make sure to check your change in those old coin collections, you might just find a hidden treasure. Fascinating topic, the 1963 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark. You might have one of these in your pocket change, and it could be worth more than you think. The Jefferson nickel has been a staple of American currency since its introduction in 1938. But what makes the 1963 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark so special? First off, let's talk about the history. 
The 1963 Jefferson Nickel was minted during a time when the U.S. was ramping up for the monumental changes of the 1960s. It's a piece of history you can hold in your hand. Now, the without a mint mark part is crucial. Coins without a mint mark were produced at the Philadelphia Mint. The absence of a mint mark doesn't necessarily make the coin rare, but certain conditions can increase its value significantly. Condition is everything in the world of coin collecting. A 1963 Jefferson nickel in average circulated condition might only be worth its face value. But in uncirculated, or mint state, condition, the value can skyrocket. For instance, a 1963 Jefferson nickel in MS-65 condition, which means it's almost perfect with very few imperfections, can be worth around $20. However, if you have one in MS-67 condition, you're looking at a potential value of over $100. So, how do you know if your nickel is worth more? Look for these key features, sharp details in Jefferson's hair, clear steps on Monticello, and minimal scratches or wear. If you find one in great condition, it's worth getting it graded by a professional. To get your coin graded, you can send it to a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC. They'll assess its condition and give it a grade, which can help you determine its true market value. Remember, the cost of grading can vary, so make sure it's worth the investment for your specific coin. Also, keep an eye on the market trends. Coin values can fluctuate based on demand and rarity. In summary, the 1963 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark can be a valuable addition to your collection, especially in high-grade condition. So next time you're sorting through your change, keep an eye out for these hidden gems. 1964 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark. Could this common-looking coin be worth a small fortune? Let's find out. The Jefferson nickel has been a staple in American currency since 1938. Designed by Felix Schlag, it features a portrait of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and Monticello, his Virginia home, on the reverse. But what makes the 1964 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark so special? First, let's talk mint marks. Typically, Jefferson nickels have a D4 Denver or an S4 San Francisco. But if your 1964 Jefferson nickel doesn't have a mint mark, it was minted in Philadelphia. The absence of a mint mark itself isn't rare but other factors can make these coins valuable. Coins in pristine condition, with little to no wear, are always more valuable. Look for coins that have been graded by a professional service. Some 1964 Jefferson nickels might have mint errors, like doubled dies or repunched mint marks. These errors can significantly increase a coin's value. 1964 was a peak year for nickel production, but finding one in excellent condition can be rare due to heavy circulation. Compare your coin's condition with online grading charts or consider getting it professionally graded. Look up recent auction results for similar coins to get an idea of its market value. Let's look at some real-life examples. Recently, a 1964 Jefferson nickel in MS-67 condition sold for over $1,000 at auction. Error coins, like those with a double die, can fetch even higher prices. The coin market is always evolving so keeping up with the latest trends is key. And there you have it. The 1964 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark can indeed be worth more than you might expect. 1965 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark. Could this coin be worth a small fortune? Let's find out. First, let's talk about the history behind the 1965 Jefferson nickel. In 1965, the United States Mint faced a severe coin shortage, leading to some interesting changes. To combat this, the Mint decided to eliminate mint marks from all coins for three years, from 1965 to 1967. This means our 1965 nickel should typically have no mint mark. As you can see, this nickel doesn't have a mint mark, making it a common piece from that era. But what makes some of these 1965 nickels potentially valuable? It's all about condition, errors, and varieties. First, let's talk about condition. Coins are graded on a scale from poor, P1, to perfect mint state, MS70. The higher the grade, the more valuable the coin. For instance, a 1965 Jefferson nickel in MS65 condition can fetch a premium price. So, if you find one in your collection, be sure to handle it with care. 
Some of these high-grade nickels have sold for impressive amounts at auctions, with prices reaching up to $100 or more. Next up, errors and varieties. Error coins are always a hot topic among collectors. For the 1965 Jefferson nickel, look out for die clashes, off-center strikes, or double dies. These errors can significantly increase a coin's value. For example, a 1965 nickel with a noticeable die clash can be worth several times more than a regular one. Always keep an eye out for these anomalies. To sum it up, while the 1965 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark is generally common, certain factors like high-grade and unique errors can make them quite valuable. Always check your pocket change in coin collections, you never know when you might strike it rich. 1966 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark is so special. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for more exciting coin discoveries. First, a little history. The Jefferson nickel, designed by Felix Schlag, has been in circulation since 1938. The 1966 issue is particularly interesting due to a few unique factors. In 1965, 1966, and 1967, the U.S. Mint didn't use mint marks on coins. This was part of an effort to discourage coin hoarding during a coin shortage. So, if you have a 1966 Jefferson nickel, it won't have a mint mark, and that's perfectly normal. But what makes some 1966 Jefferson nickels worth more than their face value? Let's break it down. First, condition is key. A 1966 nickel in pristine, uncirculated condition can fetch a higher price. Look for coins with minimal wear and no scratches. These are often graded by professional services. A 1966 Jefferson nickel in mint state, MS, condition can be worth significantly more. For example, an MS-65 grade can range from $5 to $15, but higher grades like MS-66 or MS-67 can bring in even more. Another factor is the coin strike quality. Coins with sharp details and strong strikes are more desirable. Check the steps on Monticello, a full step designation can increase the coin's value. Full steps are a key feature for Jefferson nickels. If your coin has five or six fully defined steps on Monticello, it's considered rare and can be worth much more. So, how much can a 1966 Jefferson nickel be worth? In average circulated condition, it's typically worth its face value. But in high grades with full steps, it can be worth anywhere from $20 to over $100. 1967 Jefferson Nickel Without a Mint Mark You might be surprised at how much the seemingly ordinary coin can be worth. First, let's get some background. The 1967 Jefferson Nickel is part of the series honoring Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States. This coin was minted during a period when the U.S. Mint was producing coins without mint marks to discourage coin hoarding. In the 1960s, coin collectors were pulling coins out of circulation, causing a coin shortage. To combat this, the Mint decided to remove mint marks from coins between 1965 and 1967. So, if you have a 1967 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark, it's completely normal. But what makes this coin valuable? Let's break it down. Condition is key. Coins in mint condition, known as uncirculated, can fetch a higher price. Look for coins with sharp details, no wear, and a brilliant luster. Grading plays a huge role in determining a coin's value. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being a perfect, flawless coin. A 1967 Jefferson nickel graded MS-65, Mint State 65, can be worth significantly more than one in lower grades. Next, let's talk about errors. Error coins are highly sought after by collectors. Look for anything unusual, like doubled dies, off-center strikes, or other minting errors. These can dramatically increase a coin's value. Some 1967 nickels have known errors like the doubled die error. These errors occur when the coin is struck more than once, causing a doubling effect on the design. To get the most accurate value, consider getting your coin professionally graded. A certified grading service can provide a detailed evaluation and authentication, which can help you get the best price if you decide to sell. So, the next time you come across a 1967 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark, take a closer look.
it might just be worth more than you think. We have an exciting episode for you, all about the 1968 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark. Yes, you heard that right, a 1968 Jefferson nickel that could be worth big money. So, what's the story behind this particular coin? In 1968, the U.S. Mint transitioned the production of nickels back to the Philadelphia Mint. However, unlike other years, the Philadelphia Mint did not put a mint mark on these nickels. This little detail makes the 1968 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark quite unique and sought after by collectors. Now, you might be wondering, how can you tell if you have one of these valuable coins? Let's break it down. First, you'll want to check the date on the coin, it should clearly show 1968. Then, look carefully under the date and to the right of Jefferson's portrait. If there's no mint mark, you might be holding a special coin. The condition of your coin plays a huge role in its value. Coins are graded on a scale from poor to mint state. The better the condition, the higher the value. For instance, a 1968 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark in average circulated condition might fetch a few dollars. But if you have one in mint state, it could be worth significantly more. If you're serious about collecting or selling coins, it's worth getting your coins professionally graded. A certified grade can dramatically increase the value of your coin and provide peace of mind for buyers. There are several reputable grading services, such as PCGS and NGC, that can help with this. Let's take a quick trip back in time. The 1960s were a transformative period for the U.S. Mint. In 1968, the Mint shifted its operations back to Philadelphia, and this transition period led to some interesting variations in coin production. The 1968 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark is a fascinating piece of this history. Collecting coins like the 1968 Jefferson nickel can be a rewarding hobby, both financially and historically. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just getting started, keep an eye out for these unique coins. Who knows, you might have a hidden treasure in your pocket change. Remember, the value of coins can fluctuate based on demand and market trends, so it's always a good idea to stay informed and consult with experts if you're unsure about the value of your coins. Discuss the general history of the Jefferson nickel and the significance of mint marks. Explain why the absence of a mint mark on certain coins makes them rare and valuable. Describe the design details of the coin, focusing on any unique characteristics or errors that collectors look for. Highlight the specific features that differentiate it from regular issues. Discuss the rarity of the 1969 Jefferson nickel without a mint mark and how it affects its market value. Mention any historical or numismatic factors that contribute to its desirability among collectors. Provide an estimate of the current market value of the coin in different conditions, e.g., circulated versus uncirculated. Share recent auction results or sales figures to give viewers a sense of its worth. Offer advice on how collectors can identify this coin and distinguish it from regular issues. Encourage viewers to subscribe for more content on valuable coins and to share their own experiences with rare finds. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications. Stay tuned for more fascinating insights into the world of rare coins. Until next time, happy collecting! Hey there! Coin Enthusiasts Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of rare and valuable coins. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss an exciting update. Today, we're diving into a coin that might just be hiding in your collection, the 1960 Washington Quarter dollar that could be worth some serious money. The Washington Quarter was first minted in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. Designed by John Flanagan, this coin has seen numerous changes over the years, but the 1960 edition stands out for a few reasons. Let's take a closer look at what makes the 1960 Washington Quarter special. First, it's made of 90% silver and 10% copper, giving it intrinsic value based on its metal content. On the obverse side, you'll see the familiar profile of George Washington. The reverse features the iconic eagle design. Pay attention to the mint mark. If it has a D mint mark, it was minted in Denver, while no mint mark indicates it was minted in Philadelphia. Both can be valuable, but the D mint mark tends to fetch higher prices in top conditions. 
The value of a 1960 Washington quarter can vary greatly depending on its condition and mint mark. Uncirculated coins with minimal wear and strong strikes are particularly valuable. Collectors also look for coins with unique errors or anomalies, such as doubled dies or misstrikes. A standard 1960 Washington quarter in average circulated condition might be worth around $5 to $7, but if you have a coin in mint state or with a high grade from a professional grading service like PCGS or NGC, it could be worth anywhere from $50 to over $200. Exceptional specimens or those with rare errors have been known to sell for even more at auctions. Errors like doubled dies, repunched mint marks, or off-center strikes can add significant value. If you think you have a valuable coin, consider sending it to a professional grading service for authentication and grading. Ready to sell your 1960 Washington Quarter? Here's what you need to know. Online marketplaces like eBay, Heritage Auctions, or Great Collections are great places to start. Make sure to take clear, high-resolution photos of your coin and provide detailed descriptions to attract potential buyers. Local coin shops and coin shows are also good options if you prefer in-person transactions. First, let's talk a little bit about the history of the Washington Quarter. Introduced in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth, the design features Washington's profile on the obverse and an eagle with outspread wings on the reverse. The 1961 Washington Quarter is particularly interesting to collectors for a few key reasons. One major factor is the coin's composition. Quarters minted in 1961 are 90% silver and 10% copper. This high silver content makes these coins not only valuable to collectors but also to investors looking to add to their silver stash. The melt value alone, based on current silver prices, can be significant. However, what really sets some 1961 quarters apart is their condition and any unique features they might have. Coins in mint state, meaning they show no signs of wear and have been preserved carefully, can fetch a much higher price. A 1961 quarter in MS65 condition, for instance, can be worth over $20, while higher grades can go even higher. But it's not just about the grade. There are a few specific details you should look out for. One of the most important is the presence of any mint errors or variations. For example, some 1961 quarters have a D mint mark, indicating they were produced at the Denver Mint. Quarters with rare errors, such as double dies or off-center strikes, can be incredibly valuable. Take a close look at the coin's edges, the details of Washington's profile, and any lettering on the coin. Even the smallest imperfections can significantly increase its value. If you find a 1961 quarter with a notable error, it could be worth hundreds or even thousands of dollars. To help you get started, here are some tips for identifying and preserving your valuable 1961 quarters. Always handle coins by the edges to avoid fingerprints, use a magnifying glass to inspect details, and store your coins in protective holders to prevent damage. Now, let's talk market value. The value of 1961 quarters can fluctuate based on the silver market and collector demand. As of now, a standard 1961 quarter in good condition can be worth around $5 to $7, but rare mint state examples or error coins can go for much more. Always keep an eye on the market trends and consider getting your coins professionally graded if you think you have a rare find. So, there you have it. The 1961 Washington Quarter is more than just pocket change. It's a piece of history that could potentially be worth a lot of money. Have you checked your coin collection lately? You might just have a hidden treasure waiting to be discovered. 1962 Washington Quarter dollar coin that could be worth a significant amount of money. The Washington Quarter Series has been a staple of American coinage since its introduction in 1932. The 1962 Washington Quarter, in particular, is a coin that many collectors are eager to get their hands on. But what makes this coin so special? Let's find out. First, let's talk about the basics. The 1962 Washington Quarter is composed of 90% silver and 10% copper, which already gives it intrinsic value due to its silver content. But beyond its material worth, several factors can make this coin even more valuable to collectors. Starting with the condition and grading, a coin's value significantly increases if it's in pristine condition. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being a perfect coin. 
For the 1962 Washington quarter, coins graded MS65 and higher can fetch a premium price. Always look for coins with minimal wear, strong luster, and no significant scratches. Next, let's discuss mint marks. The 1962 Washington Quarter was minted in Philadelphia and Denver. Philadelphia coins have no mint mark, while Denver coins bear a D mint mark. Generally, the mint mark doesn't drastically affect the value, but it's still an important detail for collectors. Errors and varieties are another exciting aspect to consider. Some 1962 Washington quarters have minting errors, such as double dies or off-center strikes, which can make them extremely valuable. For example, a 1962 quarter with a noticeable double die error can be worth several hundred dollars. Lastly, the historical significance and rarity of the coin play a crucial role. The 1962 Washington Quarter represents a period just before the United States transition to a copper-nickel plaid composition in 1965. This historical context adds a layer of interest and value for collectors. So, how much can a 1962 Washington Quarter be worth? On average, a common 1962 quarter in circulated condition is worth about $5 to $7 due to its silver content. However, higher-grade specimens can reach anywhere from $20 to over $100, and rare error coins can go for even more. To sum it up, the 1962 Washington Quarter is a coin that every collector should keep an eye out for. Whether it's for its silver content, pristine condition, unique errors, or historical significance, this coin can certainly be worth more than just 25 cents. We have a special treat for you, a deep dive into the 1963 Washington Quarter Dollar Coin that's worth big bucks. Stick around to learn why this coin is so special and what makes it worth your attention. First, let's take a closer look at the 1963 Washington Quarter. This beautiful coin features the iconic portrait of George Washington on the obverse, designed by John Flanagan. The reverse showcases the majestic eagle with outstretched wings, a symbol of American strength and freedom. The 1963 Washington Quarter was minted during an interesting time in American history. The early 1960s were a period of great change and progress in the United States. It was also the final year before the Coinage Act of 1965, which significantly altered the composition of U.S. coins. Now, let's talk about what makes the 1963 Washington Quarter so special. This coin is made of 90% silver and 10% copper. Because of its silver content, it has intrinsic value just from the metal alone. The 1963 quarters were minted in two locations, Philadelphia and Denver. Coins from Philadelphia have no mint mark, while those from Denver feature a small D mint mark on the reverse side. So, what is a 1963 Washington quarter worth today? The value can range significantly. Common circulated quarters are often worth around $5 to $10, mostly for their silver content. However, high-grade, uncirculated coins can sell for much more. For example, a pristine 1963 quarter in MS67 condition can sell for hundreds of dollars at auction. That wraps up our look at the 1963 Washington Quarter Dollar Coin. 1964 Washington Quarter Dollar Coin Could this be the treasure hiding in your collection? Let's find out. The Washington Quarter, first introduced in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth, has a storied history. By 1964, these quarters were made from 90% silver and 10% copper. But what makes the 1964 quarter so special? Let's take a closer look. The 1964 Washington quarter was the last year these coins were minted with a high silver content, making them highly sought after by collectors. Each of these quarters contains approximately 0.18 troy ounces of silver. Key features to look out for include George Washington's bust on the obverse, the majestic eagle on the reverse, and of course, the mint mark. In 1964, Quarters were minted in Philadelphia and Denver. The mint mark D can be found on the reverse side, right below the wreath. So, what makes the 1964 Washington Quarter valuable? The answer lies in its condition and any rare variations. Uncirculated coins or those with a high grade from professional grading services can fetch a premium. Additionally, errors such as double dies or off-center strikes can significantly increase a coin's value. Pristine examples can sell for hundreds and even thousands of dollars at auctions. 
For instance, a 1964 D quarter in Mint State recently sold for over $1,000. If you think you have a 1964 Washington quarter, here's how to check its value. First, inspect the coin carefully for any signs of wear and tear. Use a magnifying glass to look for any errors. Handle your coin with care, preferably wearing gloves, to avoid adding any fingerprints or scratches. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, the 1964 Washington Quarter is a fantastic piece to have in your collection. So, go check your old change jars, you might just strike silver. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more coin collecting tips and treasures. Happy hunting! If you love learning about rare and valuable coins, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. Let's get started. The 1965 Washington Quarter marks a significant change in U.S. coinage history. This year was the beginning of the transition from 90% silver coins to a copper nickel clad composition. Why, you ask? Due to the rising cost of silver, the U.S. Mint decided to remove silver from quarters and dimes. First, let's take a closer look at the design. The obverse features the familiar profile of George Washington, designed by John Flanagan, while the reverse showcases the majestic eagle with outstretched wings. At first glance, it might seem like any other quarter, but the 1965 version holds some secrets. Let's talk about how to identify these valuable coins. For error coins struck on silver planchets, you'll notice a distinct difference in color and weight. Silver quarters weigh about 6.25 grams, compared to the standard copper nickel clad quarters, which weigh 5.67 grams. Using a digital scale can help you determine if you have a rare silver quarter, for high grade specimens, pay attention to the coin's luster and absence of wear. Using a magnifying glass, look for any signs of doubling on the obverse and reverse. If you believe you have a valuable 1965 Washington quarter, getting it professionally graded can maximize its value. Services like PCGS and NGC provide accurate grading and encapsulation, ensuring your coin's authenticity and condition are preserved. On the market, error coins in high grade 1965 quarters have been known to sell for anywhere from hundreds to thousands of dollars, depending on their condition and rarity. So, there you have it. The 1965 Washington quarter might just be the hidden treasure in your change jar. Make sure to check your coins carefully, you never know what you might find. 1966 Washington Quarter, a coin that could be worth more than you think. Stick around to find out how much your quarter could be worth and what makes it so special. The Washington Quarter, first minted in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth, has seen many changes over the years. By 1966, the United States Mint was producing coins without any silver content due to rising silver prices and a coin shortage. The 1966 Washington Quarter was struck in a copper nickel clad composition, marking a significant change from the silver quarters minted before 1965. Let's take a closer look at the design of the 1966 Washington Quarter. The obverse features the iconic portrait of George Washington, designed by John Flanagan. On the reverse, you'll see the majestic eagle with outspread wings, a symbol of American strength and freedom. Even though the composition changed, the design remained a classic favorite among collectors. Now, here's where things get interesting. Some 1966 Washington quarters can be worth more due to rare varieties and minting errors. Keep an eye out for these errors, such as double diabers, where the images or inscriptions appear doubled. These rare errors can significantly increase the value of your coin. Another crucial factor in determining the value of your 1966 Washington Quarter is its condition. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with higher grades indicating better conditions. A quarter in uncirculated condition, especially one that has been well preserved, can fetch a premium price. So, how much is your 1966 Washington Quarter worth today? In general, circulated coins without errors or special varieties might only be worth face value. However, uncirculated coins can be worth around $5 to $10. Rare error coins or those in exceptionally high grades can sell for significantly more, sometimes hundreds of dollars at auctions. Here are some tips for all you aspiring coin collectors out there. Always handle your coins carefully, preferably with gloves, to avoid damaging their surfaces. Store them in a cool, dry place, and consider using protective holders to preserve their condition. 
And most importantly, keep an eye out for those rare varieties and errors. That's it for today's deep dive into the 1966 Washington Quarter. Who knew that a simple quarter could hold so much history and potential value? If you love learning about rare and valuable coins, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Now, let's get into it. The Washington Quarter was first introduced in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. But what makes the 1967 Washington Quarter particularly interesting? In 1965, the U.S. Mint stopped producing quarters with silver due to rising silver prices. Instead, they used a copper-nickel-clad composition. The 1967 quarter is part of this new era, but there are still some unique aspects to look out for. Let's start with the basics. The obverse features the familiar bust of George Washington, designed by John Flanagan. The reverse showcases an eagle with spread wings. But did you know there are some key features and rare variants that can make your 1967 quarter valuable? One such variant is the double die obverse. If you look closely, you might see doubling on the inscriptions or on Washington's profile. These double die coins are highly sought after by collectors and can fetch a significant premium over face value. Condition is crucial when it comes to coin value. The 1967 Washington Quarter is no exception. Coins in mint state condition, especially those graded MS65 or higher, can be worth considerably more. A well-preserved quarter with minimal wear and strong luster can be a treasure. Professional grading by companies like PCGS or NGC can help determine the exact value of your coin. So, how much is a 1967 Washington quarter worth today? Prices can vary widely. Common circulated coins might only be worth face value or a little more, but rare variants and high-grade examples can fetch anywhere from $10 to several hundred dollars. The coin market is dynamic. Recently, a 1967 quarter with a high MS67 grade sold for over $1,000 at auction. So, it's worth checking your spare change and old coin collections. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, the 1967 Washington Quarter is a fascinating piece of numismatic history. Who knows? You might have a hidden gem in your pocket. The Washington Quarter has been a staple in American currency since it was first minted in 1932. However, the 1968 quarter holds a special place in the hearts of collectors. There are a few reasons why this particular coin might be worth more than its face value. First, let's talk about the coin's design. The obverse features the iconic portrait of George Washington, designed by John Flanagan. On the reverse, we have the majestic eagle with outspread wings, symbolizing strength and freedom. This design remained largely unchanged until the introduction of the State Quarters Program in 1999. Now, what makes the 1968 Washington Quarter particularly interesting? For starters, this was one of the first years after the U.S. Mint transitioned from using 90% silver to a copper-nickel-clad composition for quarters. This means that while the coin might not contain silver, it still holds historical significance. But there's more. Coins from this year can be especially valuable if they have certain errors or are in exceptional condition. For instance, coins with double dies, off-center strikes, or other minting errors can fetch a premium. When assessing the value of your 1968 quarter, consider these factors, condition, errors, and mint marks. Coins in mint state or uncirculated condition are generally worth more. Look for any unusual features or errors that could increase its value. And don't forget the mint marks. In 1968, quarters were minted in Philadelphia, no mint mark, Denver, D, and San Francisco, S. The mint mark can be found on the obverse side, just to the right of Washington's ponytail. Quarters with the S mint mark are usually proof coins and can be quite valuable if they are in pristine condition. So, what are these coins worth? Well, a standard 1968 quarter in average circulated condition is typically worth its face value of 25 cents. However, uncirculated examples can be worth anywhere from $5 to $20 or more, depending on their condition. Proof coins and those with errors can fetch even higher prices, sometimes reaching hundreds of dollars at auction. Grading your coin can significantly impact its value. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with higher numbers indicating better condition. 
Coins graded MS65 or higher are considered investment grade and can command a premium in the market. Always do your research and consult with reputable coin dealers or grading services to get an accurate assessment of your coin's value. You might be surprised at how much that 1968 quarter in your collection is worth. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the 1968 Washington quarter, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow coin enthusiasts. And don't forget to subscribe for more exciting coin stories and tips on building your collection. The Washington Quarter has been a staple in American currency since 1932. But did you know that some quarters, like the 1969 Washington Quarter, can be worth a lot more than face value? Now, you might be wondering, what makes the 1969 Washington Quarter so special? Let's break it down. First, let's look at the basics. The 1969 Washington Quarter features the familiar portrait of George Washington on the obverse, or front side, and an eagle with outstretched wings on the reverse, or back side. Most 1969 quarters were minted in Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco, with the Denver mint marked by a small D next to the date. What really makes some 1969 quarters valuable are the errors and variations that can occur during minting. Let's talk about a few key points. One of the most sought-after errors is the double die obverse. This means that during the minting process, the die used to strike the coin was impressed twice, slightly offset, creating a noticeable doubling of the design elements, especially in the words Liberty, In God We Trust, and the date 1969. Here's a comparison between a regular 1969 quarter and one with a double die. You can see the doubling on the letters and numbers, making the error coin stand out. Now, let's talk value. A regular 1969 Washington quarter in circulated condition might only be worth its face value. But if you find one with a double die, it can fetch anywhere from $50 to several hundred dollars, depending on its condition. Coin grading plays a crucial role in determining the value. Coins are graded on a scale from poor, P1, to perfect mint state, MS70. The better the condition, the higher the grade, and the more valuable the coin. For example, a 1969 Washington quarter with a double die in mint state condition can be worth significantly more. Some high-grade examples have been known to sell for over $1,000 at auctions. So, how can you find one of these valuable quarters? Start by checking your pocket change in coin jars. You never know what might be hiding there. If you're serious about hunting for rare coins, consider investing in a good magnifying glass or jeweler's loop to spot those tiny details. Also, keep an eye out at coin shows, auctions, and online marketplaces. Sometimes, you can find valuable coins being sold by people who don't realize what they have. That wraps up our deep dive into the 1969 Washington Quarter Dollar Coin. Remember, the key to successful coin collecting is knowledge and attention to detail. Have you found any rare or valuable coins in your collection? Let us know in the comments below. The year 1970 marked a unique era in American numismatics. The Washington Quarter Series was well established, yet this particular year holds a special allure due to its scarcity. Unlike many other Washington Quarters, the 1970 issue was struck in limited quantities, especially in comparison to surrounding years. This scarcity is a crucial factor in its value today. Explore the iconic design of the Washington Quarter featuring the profile of George Washington on the obverse and the majestic bald eagle on the reverse. The meticulous detailing of these coins adds to their appeal, discuss the importance of coin condition in determining its value. Explain how grading scales, such as those used by professional numismatists, assess factors like wear, luster, and surface imperfections, delve into current market trends and auction records. Highlight notable sales of the 1970 Washington Quarter, showcasing how its rarity drives up demand among collectors and investors alike provide practical advice for viewers interested in finding or assessing their own 1970 Washington quarters. Discuss key indicators of authenticity and ways to protect and preserve these valuable coins, summarize the key points about the 1970 Washington quarter dollar coin, emphasizing its historical significance, rarity, and potential value. Encourage viewers to explore their own collections or pocket change to uncover hidden treasures, invite viewers to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into valuable coins and numismatic treasures. Encourage them to leave comments sharing their own coin discoveries or questions. And market prices to provide accurate information on the coin's current value.
The 1971 Washington Quarter, like many coins of its era, holds a blend of history and rarity that makes it highly sought after among collectors. Minted during a pivotal time in American history, this coin features the iconic profile of George Washington on the obverse and the majestic eagle on the reverse, released just a few years after the monumental moon landing. The 1971 quarter reflects a period of immense national pride and technological achievement in the United States. Its design encapsulates the spirit of the early 1970s, a time marked by cultural shifts and historic milestones. What sets the 1971 Washington Quarter apart are the subtle variations in mint marks that determine its rarity and value. While most circulated versions are readily available, collectors often seek out coins in pristine condition or those with unique minting characteristics. Now, let's talk about the exciting part value. While many 1971 quarters are still in circulation, certain editions, such as those minted in San Francisco with an S mint mark, can fetch significantly higher prices in the collector's market. Factors like condition, scarcity, and demand among collectors influence the coin's value, making each find a potential treasure. For those looking to explore the world of coin collecting, the 1971 Washington Quarter offers a perfect entry point. Keep an eye out for coins with sharp details, minimal wear, and distinct mint marks, as these characteristics often enhance a coin's desirability and value over time. As we conclude our journey into the realm of numismatics with the 1971 Washington Quarter, remember that every coin tells a story, a story of history, craftsmanship, and the enduring passion of collectors worldwide. Whether you're a seasoned enthusiast or a curious beginner, discovering the value and allure of coins like the 1971 Quarter is a rewarding adventure worth pursuing. The 1972 Washington Quarter Dollar Coin, which has some surprising value, the 1972 Washington Quarter Dollar, minted by the United States Mint, is part of a series loved by collectors for its historical significance and unique designs. The obverse features the iconic profile of George Washington, while the reverse showcases an eagle design or drummer boy design, depending on the mint. Point out any distinguishing marks or variations that could affect its value, briefly discuss the Historical context of the early 1970s and its impact on coin minting and availability. Despite its common appearance, certain mint variations or error coins from 1972 can fetch considerable sums among collectors. Discuss factors that contribute to its value, such as mint mark, condition, and rarity. If you're searching for valuable 1972 Washington Quarter dollars, focus on coins with clear mint marks and in good condition. Mention reputable sources for buying, selling, or appraising coins. The 1973 Washington Quarter, minted in Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco, holds a special place in numismatic history due to its limited mintage and unique characteristics. Before we delve into its value, let's uncover a bit of history. In 1973, the United States was experiencing significant economic shifts, and coinage was evolving both in design and production techniques. Take a look at this exquisite design, show detailed shots of the coin, featuring George Washington on the obverse and the iconic eagle on the reverse. The meticulous craftsmanship is evident in every detail. What makes this coin truly remarkable is its rarity. With, insert mintage numbers, obtaining one in pristine condition today is increasingly challenging, adding to its allure and value. Now, let's talk numbers. Due to its scarcity and high demand among collectors, the 1973 Washington Quarter can fetch, mention current market values or price ranges. It's a testament to its status as a prized collectible. Several factors influence its value, such as condition, mint mark location, and historical significance. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a beginner, understanding these nuances can guide your investment decisions. For collectors aiming to add this coin to their collection, Keep an eye out for well-preserved specimens and consider consulting with reputable numismatic experts to authenticate and appraise its value. That wraps up our exploration of the 1973 Washington Quarter Dollar Coin. Remember, its value extends beyond its monetary worth, it's a piece of history worth cherishing. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more coin collecting insights. Until next time, happy collecting! Known for its unique characteristics and historical value, this coin has a story to tell. First minted in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth, the Washington Quarter Dollar has become a staple in American numismatic history. The 1974 edition carries forward this legacy with its iconic design. On the obverse, we see the familiar portrait of George Washington, the first President of the United States, designed by John Flanagan. 
Flanking the image are the words liberty and in God we trust. Dot. Flipping to the reverse side, we find a majestic bald eagle, symbolizing strength and freedom, clasping a bundle of arrows. Surrounding the eagle are the inscriptions United States of America, E Pluribus Unum, and Quarter Dollar. Dot. While the standard 1974 Washington quarter is quite common, there are specific varieties and mint marks that can significantly elevate its value in the collector's market. For instance, quarters minted at the San Francisco Mint, S Mint Mark, or Denver Mint, D Mint Mark, may command higher prices due to their limited production numbers and historical significance. Now, let's talk numbers. The average circulated 1974 Washington quarter can range in value from face value up to a few dollars, depending on its condition and mint mark. However, for collectors seeking rare editions or coins in mint condition, the value can escalate significantly. It's not uncommon to find well-preserved examples fetching prices well above their face value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, the 1974 Washington Quarter Dollar Coin offers a fascinating glimpse into American history and numismatics. Keep exploring, keep collecting, and who knows? You might just uncover a hidden gem in your own pocket change. Before we get into its value, let's take a quick look at the history behind the 1975 Washington Quarter. Minted as part of the United States Bicentennial Celebrations, these coins hold a special place in American coinage designed by Jack L. H. R. The obverse features a profile portrait of George Washington, while the reverse showcases a colonial drummer. Its distinctive design captures the essence of America's journey towards independence on now. Let's talk about what makes the 1975 Washington Quarter Dollar Coin valuable today, rarity plays a significant role. Due to lower mintages compared to other quarters of the era, finding one in pristine condition can be a treasure hunt in itself, condition matters too. Coins in uncirculated or near-mint condition fetch higher prices at auctions and among collectors, collectability is another factor. With its unique design and historical significance, collectors often seek out these coins to complete their sets. As of current year, a 1975 Washington quarter in uncirculated condition can fetch anywhere from mention approximate value range based on current market data that you might find these coins in old coin collections, estate sales, or even among your own spare change. So there you have it, folks, the 1975 Washington quarter dollar coin, a piece of American history that might just be worth more than you think. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, keep an eye out for these gems, they could be hiding in plain sight. The 1776 to 1976 Washington Quarter is a bicentennial coin minted to commemorate the 200th anniversary of the United States Declaration of Independence. Its design features a distinctive drumming drummer boy on the reverse side, symbolizing the youthful energy and spirit of America. This coin holds immense historical significance as it marks a pivotal moment in American history, the bicentennial celebration of our nation's independence. Its design captures the essence of patriotism and national pride that swept across the country during that era. Now, let's talk numbers. The 1776 to 1976 Washington Quarter particularly in uncirculated condition or those with specific mint marks, can hold significant numismatic value. Collectors often seek out these coins for their rarity and historical appeal, making them a prized addition to any collection. The value of your 1776 to 1976 Washington quarter can vary based on its condition, rarity, and specific mint marks. For instance, coins in mint condition or those with a S mint mark on proof coins tend to fetch higher prices at auctions and among collectors. I in recent years, these bicentennial quarters have gained renewed interest among collectors and investors alike. Their combination of historical significance and numismatic value makes them a sought-after piece in the world of coin collecting. As we conclude our exploration of the 1776 to 1976 Washington Quarter Dollar Coin, remember that its value extends beyond its face value. It's a tangible piece of American history, a testament to our nation's journey over the centuries. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, this coin offers a captivating glimpse into the past and a promising investment for the future. If you enjoyed learning about the 1776 to 1976 Washington Quarter, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more fascinating insights into the world of rare coins and collectibles. Thank you for watching, and happy collecting! Until next time, keep exploring, keep discovering, and keep uncovering the hidden treasures all around us. Take care, and see you in the next video.